What's up, y'all? Back with player faces, tattoos, and shoes. It's time to do the Atlanta Hawks, and it's been a minute. I hope these rosters are still even on point. Now, first of all, this is Josh Smith. Now, you know, they're talking about trading Josh Smith. They're talking about doing a lot of stuff. Josh Smith, I'm trying to tell y'all, is an absolute beast. I mean, there's no perfect player, of course. But if you're looking at Josh, I'm talking about, man, this dude, I mean, the only beef I could really have with him is his shot selection. His size sometimes he one of them players, you'd be like, Josh, don't shoot it. Don't, don't, don't shoot that, Josh. Don't shoot that. And he's going to shoot it. Them long jump shots, sometimes I, I, if I if I was really like a Hawks fan like that, I'd just probably want to kill him sometime. But, I mean, dude, the dude is a ridiculous shot blocker, ridiculous athlete. I, if he would actually work on his post game, oh, my God, he would be – He'd be even better than he already is. And he already averaging what, 17 points, eight and a half boards, almost two blocks a game. He's a beast. He's a beast. And they really need to try to lock him down. Now, this is Al Horford looking like Trey Song's uncle. This dude looked like if Trey Song's was like masculine, that's what he would look like. He did not get hurt this year. And quiet as I don't know how many people realize. Do you realize that Al Horford leading, is leading Atlanta Hawks in points and rebounds per game i mean what goes on in atlanta just kind of is like kind of goes people don't talk about it or whatever but al horford is a baller he really when he stay healthy which of course is you don't never know but i mean the dude is a ball for real lou williams is looking really he looked bewildered on this picture like he don't he really didn't know they was taking pictures today he didn't know it and they was like lou Hey, just 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 smile. And he's like, I don't want to smile. I want to stay in Philly. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Lou Williams. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not. I've never been a huge Lou. I was when he was in college. When he was in college, I think he was in Georgia. I kind of was like, man, this dude can really ball, right? But, and those are horrible. You should never wear those shoes. You look like, I don't know what happened. But, I don't know. I, I just was never a huge fan. And this is Devin Harris. Y'all remember that video? Dev, Devin Harris gets schooled by the little dude. That actually happened to me something like that before. I was sticking this little guy. I'm talking about this was a little bitty guy. I'm 6'5", right? This dude was like about 5'10", right? He had like a double chin. Man, this dude got the ball. He's the fastest human being off of a first step I've ever seen in my life. I said, do you have jetpacks in your drawers, man? This dude was so, I, it was ridiculous. He was so fast. Every time I see Devin Harris, I think about just getting hustled like that on the court. Jeff Teague looking like a iguana, but you want to talk about fast. Dude is super fast, having a very, very, very good year. I remember the Bulls were playing the Hawks. I think it was the year before last in the playoffs, and I really knew at that point. I'm like, man, this dude here, give him an opportunity to start. He's going to be a beast. He tatted up. Uh, not quite. I mean, Atlanta is definitely in the running for most tatted up team for sure, though, because they have a lot of graphics on their arms and chest and neck and back and feet. But uh, Jeff Teague is uh, is is the truth for sure. Now, this right here. I'm going to tell you. Top five least favorite players on the whole planet. This little knobby head, nasty neck dude here. I, Deshaun Stevenson is just ugh. He irritates me. It's between him, Dante Jones, and Jason Smith, the big center for the Hornets. Them are my three least favorite players. This dude is just an absolute hater in every way, shape, or form. He running out of skin. He got black marker all over him. And he black as I don't know what itself. You can't even barely see this stuff that's on this man. This dude is, ugh, he is just... I'm waving my hand at him. You don't even see it. Just know I'm doing it. That Deshaun Stevenson is just not one of my favorite players at all. At all. I mean, this dude, he got tattoos on his fingernails. How you going to get your fingernail tattooed, dog? Just, 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 just a ridiculous young fella. Get out from my screen. Ivan Johnson. Now, this is my boy. Now, I don't think they made him look quite ruthless enough, though. Ivan Johnson is one of them dudes that every time somebody jumped bad on the court with anybody, 
I always say, I bet he won't do that to Ivan Johnson. I bet he won't do it because Ivan Johnson is that dude. I'm praying for the day that I can see Kevin Garnett pull it with Ivan Johnson. That's going to be that's gonna be the truth right there. Because Ivan Johnson looked like, I just got out and I'm a little bit homesick. I can go back at any time. They told me anytime I want to go back to jail, just choke somebody else. And if I do that, I can come back. He looks like he choked people like every week and going to jail ain't nothing for him. This is Anthony Morrow. Uh, I think the the Hawks, I mean, he was part of the Joe Johnson trade or whatever, came over just kind of as a little filler kind of a dude. But, I mean, he has not. I mean, New Jersey gave him a ridiculous uh, free agent deal from some years back to begin with, which I thought was just a little bit crazy. Had some people here in Chicago was like, he might be the answer to the shooting guard needs. When? How? Where? You got to watch the scoring. When you look at scoring and it took place in like Golden State, where back when they weren't playing no defense, those are ballooned up numbers. You got to watch that. This is Ja Ja Pachulia. The man with the most protruding brow in the world. I mean, this dude's brow sticks out like seven inches off his face. He looks like a freaking maniac. But you know, if you follow him on Twitter, you'll see he actually is a pretty cool, kind of fun, kind of funny dude. He just looks like he's like supposed to be playing a serial killer in a movie. Because if you, when your brow sticks out like that, you just give off that impression like you crazy. Because... Is you look that way. You really do. Look at Dirty Ashton. Kyle Corver looks like Ashton Kutcher, like if he just don't bathe for like a week. Kyle Corver. That's what he looks. Now you look at this dude and tell me that he don't look like Ashton Kutcher. I know he's heard that several times, has to have heard it because he looks like the dude. But uh it, when the, when he was with the Bulls. You, nobody can accuse this dude of not giving no effort, but he has to have the slowest feet on defense in North America. There's nobody in North America with slower feet. Cal Corva is that dude. This is Mike Scott. M- yes, Mike Scott. You probably don't know who in the – well, you probably do. If you're a Hawks fan, you know who he is. I mean, he plays a little bit uh, here and there, a little scattered, little minutes. But uh, Mike Scott, when your name is Mike Scott – um. You just you you prone to just kind of blend into the background. But that's Mike Scott. This is John Jenkins, another dude. Bulls fans were screaming, talking about he might be the answer to the shooting guard. He ain't the answer to nothing. Now he plays consistently for the Hawks. I mean, he he gets regular clock. I think he can play like probably every game, you know. Uh, and he's a good three-point shooter, but this dude really can get his own shot, which is what we need. And, you know, he just, people just, oh, my Jesus, heavens to Betsy, Lord, heaven, God, boy. What in the devil? He j- he looked like he's sad because he just looked like, the oh, the profile is a little bit better. But that smack on look, look at it. He looked like somebody took. A little doll and burnt it and pushed some marshmallows in his face for for some lips. His lips is like a powder, look like a powdery booty. That's oh boy, gee whiz, Anthony Tolliver. You got you got pro wings. We got to get them off of you. Got to fix something because your face is looking really rough today. Or is this every day? I don't know. But gee, heavens to bets, Johan Petro. Yes. Now, I understand, you know, the texture of people's hair. Some of it's more coarse and all that. Johan Petro looked like he got black cornbread sitting on his head in here. And I don't know if that's not how his hair necessarily looks. Here's another dude, pitch black with tattoos. Can't nobody see him, Johan. Can't nobody see them, dog. You 75 leagues blacker than the sea. Can't nobody see him. I didn't know if he knows, but somebody needs to tell these people that's this color that get some color ink on your arm. Boy, can nobody see that black thing? You got pro wings on. Got to get you some more shoes. That wraps it up for this episode of Player Faces, Tattoos and Shoes. Miami Heat next week, y'all. Peace.